What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about the future is female. Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, they are going full SJW and we're going to talk about it. The funny thing here is social media has done a lot of cool things. It's also done a lot of aggravating things. The bottom line, it's given everyone a platform. Now more than ever, fans' voices are louder than ever. We control the bottom line. Unfortunately, the other side that doesn't want to have discussions and dialogue simply wants to call us racist and sexist for making our individual opinions known. And maybe I'm just some asshole sitting in his basement screaming to a camera with no one listening. Or maybe I have my finger on the pulse of the fandom and maybe more more people than you think actually agree with me. That was certainly the case with Solo, and I'm betting that's what's going to happen with Captain Marvel if things continue in this direction. The future is female? No. The future is everyone. And anyone saying anything different is simply playing identity politics. This is one of the fastest ways to a get woke, go broke situation, and they are certainly heading in that direction with the few snippets of uh, advertising we have seen. We're already here, and we've already heard SJW-like comments from Brie Larson, which is Captain Marvel herself. And now the mainstream media is doubling down on it. They can't help themselves. They are, like, addicted to this stuff. It's unbelievable. Marvel is coming off one of its biggest films ever. Actually, no. Correction. Marvel is coming off of its biggest film ever. And with that momentum, you would think they would continue to stay away from this SJW garbage. But we're talking about Hollywood, and any chance they have to project, you can bet your ass they're going to project. I'm personally not even that excited for Captain Marvel, simply because while Brie Larson is somewhat attractive, she does nothing for me in this role. I'm not inspired by her. I'm not excited by what I've seen so far. I just don't buy her in this role at this point. And the identity politics adding on to it is only turning me off that much more. So we'll see what the future holds for Captain Marvel, but I'm afraid that we're heading down the SJW marketing path and there's nothing we can do about it except make our individual decisions and individual voices heard by speaking with our wallets. If enough people come together to do the same, then eventually they're going to have to listen, you would think. And as I've said before, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, feel free to go see Captain Marvel six or seven times. Be the change you want to see. I'm the type of person that will go see a movie I love several times just because I want to support it, because I love the experience, and catching new information. I saw The Dark Knight ten times. I saw The Dark Knight Rises eleven times. I saw Interstellar six times. I saw The Force Awakens six times. I planned on seeing The Last Jedi ten times, but that didn't work out too good. Uh, nice job on that one, Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy. But the problem is, and I say this all the time, all of you social media hashtaggers, all of you people that are saying you're going to support this movement, you're so happy and respect women, you'll project on social media all day long. But what happened when Ghostbusters 2016 hit theaters? What happened when Solo showed up? You were nowhere to be found. And both of those movies lost a lot of money. Common sense people don't take you seriously anymore. It doesn't matter how many retweets you have. It doesn't matter how many followers. It doesn't matter how many favorites. It does not matter. Social justice is not about true social justice. It's about pandering to identity politics. The truth isn't important. The facts aren't important. And when your argument is based on a false narrative, eventually you will be exposed. This movement is just the latest trend. None of the people behind it actually believe in it. They're just taking part in the latest trends. That's it. Soon, you will all move on to something else. And maybe our comic book movies and video games won't be breaking international records over and over again. But we, the fans, will still be here to support them like we always have. And you'll be off playing the victim, ruining someone else's happiness and business model. The future is female. The future is a cheap red box rental away if you keep shoving your SJW BS in our face. We are the customers. We control your business. Social media has given all of us a voice. And you can seem very loud at times, social justice warriors, but you are a slim minority. The fans, the customers, the people that have supported you all of these years are the ones that control your box office numbers. The more you piss us off, the less money you're going to make. We don't want you to pander to us. We don't want you to pander to anyone 
pander to the respective mythology you are ta- taking stories from. The vast majority of us do not think about race and gender. The vast majority of us have families, and we have jobs, and we have lives, and we have bills. Whenever we're done with all of that, we just want to watch good movies with good stories and good characters. We don't care about race and gender in these movies. The people that do will not support your business model. The sooner you understand this, the better things will be for all of us. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to one through six. One through is awesome. Uh, I actually took the line from him of the future is female. No, the future is red box off Twitter. I asked for his permission before using it. So you should all go follow him at W S I K K S. That's W S I K K S. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to check out our Patreon account linked in the description below. We are getting ready to light up our Patreon page. We have a lot of fun scheduled over there. Also check out geeksandgamers.com. I've been Jeremy. You guys have a great day. Hope to see you soon. Talk to you later.